duck felt happier with Edward and set to work at once. The trucks were silly, heavy and noisy. The two engines had to work hard, pushing and pulling all afternoon. At last they reached the top of the hill. Goodbye, whistled Duck, and rolled gently over the crossing to the other line. Duck loved coasting down the hill, running easily with the wind whistling past. Suddenly, it was a guard's warning whistle. Hurrah, 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 laughed the truck. We've broken away, we've broken away. Chase him, block him, throw him off the rails, they yelled. Hurry, Duck, hurry, said the driver. They raced to Edward Station. But the trucks were catching up as fast as we can, then they'll catch us gradually. The driver was gaining control. Another clear mile and we'll do it. Oh, glory, look at that! James was just pulling out on their line from the station ahead. Any minute there could be a crash. It's up to you now, Duck, cried the driver. Duck put every ounce of weight and steam against the trucks. It's too late, Duck broke. Shut his eyes. He peered into a siding where a barber had set up shop. He was shaving the customer. The silly trucks had knocked their guard off his van and left him far behind after he had whistled a warning. But the trucks didn't care. They were feeling very pleased with themselves. <laughs> Beg pardon, sir, gasped Duck. Excuse my intrusion. No, I won't, said the barber. You frightened my customers. I'll teach you. And he lathered Duck's face all over. Poor Duck. Thomas was helping to pull the trucks away when the fat controller arrived. 